Hey everybody, welcome to Apple World. Today, we're gonna go over why Apple's new $499 glasses is so special. Make sure to watch until the end because it's one of the most amazing parts I've ever seen. As you've probably heard, Apple will present new products in the live stream of the Apple launch event. In addition to the new iPhone 13, the manufacturer could also show the Apple's glasses, also called AR glasses, eyeglass. Because the announcement of Xiaomi smart glasses could be a clear indication of the upcoming Apple eyeglass release date. The Chinese electronics giant is introducing exciting AR glasses that display content using micro-LED fiber optic imaging technology. With a weight of only 51 grams, it's significantly lighter than the Microsoft HoloLens, for example. Before starting the video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. It's said that the glasses look very similar to ordinary glasses and the feature of the lens is the display interface that can be controlled by gestures. According to recent news, the glasses prototype may be made of plastic, but in the final release, Apple may use metal. The glasses may also come with a plastic holder with a wireless charger. Its first version may be able to operate like the Apple Watch Series Zero and may be marketed as an iPhone accessory. Apple glasses will focus on display functions and transfer computing, network, and positioning functions to the iPhone, which will reduce the weight and size of the glasses. There are rumors that Apple is developing a limited edition of Jobs' classic smart glasses that look like the round rimless glasses that Jobs once wore, but Bloomberg's Mark Gurman called this a complete rumor. Apple is also rumored to be working on a more traditional AR VR headset that resembles Facebook's Oculus Quest, with previous reports suggesting that the headset will be released prior to the glasses. Earlier this year, a leaked build of iOS 14 revealed a new app codenamed Gobi that Apple appears to be used to test new augmented reality experiences. Multiple analysts, including Ming-Chi Kuo and Jeff Pu, have indicated that the highest-end 6.7-inch iPhone 12 Pro Max might not be available to order until October due to supply chain disruptions. The initial announcement of the glasses was scheduled to take place during the Apple Watch Series 6 and the iPhone 12 launch event in September. However, there have been no final dates stated as of now and the final release could always vary due to the global health crisis. Prosser also claims that he has seen the Apple Glass himself in a video but was made of plastic. It could be a prototype and the final product could be built with premium material. Despite the announcement to be made later this year or early next year, the product will go on sale in Q4 of 2021 or Q1 of 2022. So there is a year-long wait between the announcement and the release. As for the design, the AR glasses will miss the camera for privacy concerns, but they'll feature a LiDAR scanner. Moreover, it'll be charged wirelessly via stand provided with it. Furthermore, Apple will add displays in both lenses of the glass, and the starboard UI will be controlled via gestures in front of the device. Prosser also states that Apple is considering hosting the event in October for the iPhone 12 launch. However, nothing can be said for certain as of now and the final word rests with Apple. Apple Glass sounds remarkably similar to Google Glass, Google's 2014 attempt at smart glasses. Of course, this name could change, but for now, many industry pundits have already started using the name. One of the most well-known examples of AR is Pokemon Go, launched in July 2016 by the small gaming company Niantic. When playing, you see Pokemon characters walking down the street, hanging out in the park, and seemingly mingling with their surroundings. The goal is to catch and collect the virtual creatures. Pokemon Go uses your smartphone's GPS, clock, and gyro sensors, the sensors that can detect rotation and changes in orientation, to make this impressive game possible. The Swedish furniture giant IKEA also got into the AR game when they created an app for iOS devices. The app allows you to take a picture of location in your home and then place a piece of furniture there to see how it would look. Apple will most likely go to the AR route of poor glasses. The Apple augmented reality glasses are expected to synchronize with your iPhone so that they can display content, maps, text, emails, and games. You may also be able to use Siri with the glasses. Virtual reality VR is an entirely immersive experience. Rather than seeing objects within the world around you, as you do with AR, VR takes you into a wholly new digital realm, making you feel as if you're somewhere else. 
The Oculus Rift is an example that was first available to the public in 2016. This device, like many other VR appliances, is a full headset. You see videos on a screen that is mounted to your face. When you turn your head, the images go with you. The device's 3D audio makes it seem like the video's sound is all around you, in front of you, behind you, next to you, or even far off in the distance. The Oculus Rift also comes with handheld controllers that allow you to feel like you're controlling the simulation. Even though the glasses will be made for AR, you might still be in luck if you had been hoping for Apple Virtual Reality glasses. While Apple VR glasses don't seem to be in the works, right now anyway, it's rumored that Apple will also be releasing a mixed AR VR headset. The headset will have some AR capabilities, but will mostly focus on VR. While we don't know the release dates for either the glasses or the headset, predictions say that the headset will make its debut first. The biggest appetizer is that Xiaomi's smart glasses are supposed to be an independent wearable and not just a secondary display for smartphones. This means that Xiaomi integrates a multitude of miniature sensors and communication modules to enable you to make inputs via a virtual interface. The information is then brought into your field of view via micro-LED imaging technology. According to the press release, these are projected onto the inner lens of the glasses via a tiny image processor. The actual display sits in the frame of the glasses and you can see exactly how it looks in the integrated video from Xiaomi. So far, the specifications and hardware of these smart glasses have hardly been leaked. There are rumors that Apple glasses will be equipped with 8K displays. A patent obtained by Apple further confirms the rumor that the new glasses don't require any prescription lenses and that Apple glasses will automatically adjust for people with poor vision. Apple analyst Ming-Chi Kuo predicts that Apple glasses will not have any processors. He said that the first generation of Apple glasses will rely heavily on the iPhone and the augmented reality glasses basically only provide displays. It may be equipped with a LiDAR scanner similar to the iPad Pro 2020 version, which determines the distance by measuring how long it takes for light to reach an object and reflect. This method can effectively obtain a more accurate three-dimensional scene, which is also useful in computational photography especially augmented reality, so that smart glasses don't need a camera. One of the most significant differences between Apple Glass and its predecessors, and even some of its current competitors, is that Apple Glass will not include a camera. This is not a design oversight, instead it's to address privacy and security concerns. Cameras on smart glasses allow the wearer to capture images and videos at any time in complete secrecy. From the very first introduction of smart glasses, this created a significant backlash, as people didn't want to be recorded without their knowledge and consent. The backlash resulted in many casinos and bars banning smart glasses. In 2014, the Motion Picture Association of America and the National Association of Theater Owners issued a joint statement that they were banning wearable recording devices from theaters to prevent wearers from secretly and illegally recording movies on their glasses. In terms of cost, the Apple Glasses price for the first model has been estimated to start at $499, with prescription lenses available for an additional cost. Later models with the built-in vision correction system could be priced significantly higher. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out the following videos here.